Stuart had been a bird lover for all of his life. He never expected them to reciprocate his interest, but one day a crow gave him a gift that left him with tears in his eyes. A lifelong resident of Seattle, Stuart was well accustomed to the avian wildlife in the northern USA. He'd always had an affinity for feathered animals and grew up favoring robins and magpies. However, once Stuart had moved out on his own, he noticed a massive number of crows living in the wilderness behind his house. Stuart spent the first few months in his new home, simply enjoying the sights and sounds of the crows. Over time, he started to feel a real connection with them. Stuart was curious and eager to learn more about his new companions, so he took it upon himself to do some research. According to the internet, crows were one of the most intelligent species of bird known to man. Stuart was shocked to read that the cognitive processing of crows is so advanced that they have working memories. These memories can be so strong that a crow could even have the ability to remember its own appearance. Stuart saw many examples of crows recognizing their own reflections in mirrors online. He had never before heard of a bird having such capacity for self-awareness. This was simply too cool a fact to disregard, so Stuart went about filling all the bird feeders and leaving small mirrors near crow's nests to see how they would respond. The results of the experiment were hard to monitor though, because Stuart could not reasonably wait and watch all day to see the crow's behavior, so he could not tell for sure if the birds used the mirrors to look at themselves, but he could tell that the creatures knew he was leaving them food and gifts. Almost all of the mirrors ended up being collected and left in one nest. Stuart assumed that this was due to the shininess of the mirrors, but he never totally gave up on the idea that the crows could be using them somehow. The nest was nestled in the Douglas fir tree Stuart had out in his front yard. Enraptured, he continued to research these fascinating birds, and through that work, he found out the best food to leave out for that particular species. It is relatively common for people to leave out seeds and corn in their bird feeders, but the bright Stuart discovered that crows specifically are not fans of corn. He tried a few different food combinations and found the most success with more densely nutritious food. So Stuart arrived at his decision on his perfect mix of crow feed. This mix drew more and more black birds to his property. It was a dream come true for Stuart, and so he expanded into his backyard, adding more and more feeders. For a few years, he lived in this comfortable companionship with the birds. If he went for nature walks, there was almost always a few crows flying overhead or perching on nearby trees. There was one crow in particular that Stuart began to notice. This one stood out slightly because one of its legs had been injured. It appeared as though it had healed incorrectly, so the crow largely depended on its other leg for mobility. Stuart made an effort to show it some extra love and was overjoyed when he saw the crow move into the fir tree just outside his door. The old nest left up there by previous crows was a good starting point for this crow to make its own home. Stuart left out special treats for his new friend and soon they became very close. The crow learned to recognize the human and would display excitement when he came outside. After about a year of this, their friendship solidified. The Douglas fir became the crow's permanent home and all the other birds seemed to understand. They would flock to the backyard and enjoy the feeders there while leaving the front yard to this special crow. Stuart and the birds lived in peaceful proximity for a good stretch of time. There was one small catch in having so many crows congregate together as these birds were. Eventually, they began to attract predators. Raccoons were very swift and sneaky when hunting them and rarely missed. At first, Stuart found one crow that had passed away near the outskirts of his backyard. He didn't read too much into it at the time because death was a natural part of life. Stuart's research had also prepared him for the possibility of seeing his crow companions pass away because he knew that the average lifespan was between seven and eight years. However, when a few of the very young crows disappeared, Stuart knew that something was going on. Soon after, he found raccoon tracks and put two and two together. Raccoons were hunting the birds, so he implemented some precautionary methods to discourage the predators from going on his property. It wasn't a perfect solution, but by and large, the crows remained safe and well-fed thanks to Stuart. Some months went by with this new status quo. That is, until one day Stuart went outside to find another crow hanging around his fir tree. 
At first, he assumed that the bird was there to try to take over the tree from the injured one that had set up shop there, but after a few days of watching, Stuart realized that this second crow was female. Lo and behold, there were two tiny crow eggs being safely enclosed in the nest. Stuart became overjoyed when he realized that his favorite bird was building a family right in his front yard. As you probably guessed, Stuart jumped into action in his excitement. He left out special treats for the soon-to-be crow parents. More than that, Stuart kept a close eye on the young family, and he protected them to the best of his abilities. Eventually, two healthy baby crows made their way out of their eggshells and embraced the world. They made adorable sounds, and Stuart was absolutely overjoyed to have them so close by. What made the situation even more magical was the fact that Stuart got to watch this family of crows expand and mature. The two babies grew up to be very tame and loving towards Stuart. They knew him from their first moments out in the world, and they grew up healthy and strong thanks to his special care. The parents, too, became very close and trusting with Stuart. As weeks turned into months, this sweet family of crows became his extended family. A lover of all animals, Stuart was still feeding and caring for the plethora of crows in his backyard, but none had become as close as the family of four living in the Douglas fir tree. Time marched on, and years passed. Stuart had the pleasure of watching the baby crows mature into fully grown adults. He wished he could have been able to repair the father's bad leg and spent a few months scouring the internet for information regarding injured birds. Eventually, though, he had to give up and accept that healing the crows was simply outside of his abilities. So instead, Stuart would leave small, soft items in the nest in an attempt to make the crow more comfortable. While his intention was sweet, the thing that seemed to really improve the bird's quality of life was having a family. Stuart was mentally preparing himself for the possibility of the crow declining over time, but he beat all the odds and became especially revitalized by the maturation of his children. Just when Stuart thought that life could not get any better, he found something that brought tears to his eyes. As it turned out, these four crows were just as impacted by Stuart as he was by them. They'd spent so long receiving and enjoying his gifts that one day they chose to reciprocate. On what Stuart assumed was going to be a totally normal day, he came outside to find a small piece of fir branch on his welcome mat. That had never happened before, so Stuart had a hunch that the crows had brought it there. But why? Stuart stooped down to investigate, and you will not believe what he found. There was a shiny silver pull tab, like the kind found on pop cans, about halfway through the branch. When Stuart picked up the branch, the crows cawed and his suspicions were confirmed. This odd arrangement of objects was a gift from the crows not unlike the small mirrors Stuart had once left out for the birds. It was then that everything clicked into place. These crows had made their own artistic creation and gifted it to him as a thank you. Stuart cried from the sentimentality of the situation, and from that day on, he proudly announced to the world that he had four crows as pets. What a sweet ending. Did you know that even birds as wild as crows can develop strong bonds with humans who care for them? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.